Well, hello friends, neighbors, John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome down to the nook and Merry Christmas. It's not quite Christmas yet, but we're heading there. And this episode is gonna be one of those five bourbons to buy for Christmas or five ways to enjoy bourbon or five bourbon things at Christmas. I'm not even sure what this really is, but I'm gonna talk through sort of five categories of either buy or use or have or enjoy bourbon. And so if you just want to tune in to, yeah, there's some gift ideas here, or also just some good ideas on some bourbon around Christmas time. Why don't you pour a bourbon if you have it, and come on back. Three, four. So the first thing to have with bourbon or, or the first kind of bourbon to have around for the holidays, I think is, is good, but uh, easy to pour, easy to enjoy. Someone wants to make a cocktail and you're not worried. And so what I would do, and I'll put it virtually here, like this is a whole class of bourbon. I like them all for different reasons. So I like the spice of old granddad. Um, I like the, you know, the oak and spice of Wild Turkey 101. I like a little cherry and nut in my Knob Creek. And I can go for a good maker's mark every now and then when I want a little bit of that weeder going on. Any one of those are solid, priced right. Oh, a little honey in it, maybe do some Buffalo Trace. They're all between 30 and 40 bucks up here and they would do the trick, but it's Christmas. And so I thought, well, then why don't you take your regular bourbons that you're going to have around and think about how to one-up them. And one way, uh, I mentioned Knob Creek. Uh, this is a single barrel, but a store pick. What I would say is just go after the single barrel, sit on the shelf. I just saw it the other day. It was, what was it, $48? 40? No, no, it was in the 50s. Just over 55, somewhere like that. And it was 60%. And it was a single barrel, but not a store pick. So... Something like that would work for Knob Creek. Or, you know, if you like Buffalo Trace, I mentioned that honey sweetness, add a bit of oak to it and get yourself an Eagle Rare. So, you know, I still say keep that everyday bourbon around for pouring. But if you don't have anything, it's Christmas. So why don't you, uh, you know, get a get a, something like this. Oh, I could do a bottle for for you guys. You know, get a little Eagle Rare in the house. Feel a little special because it's Christmas time. Or, uh, you know, as I said, a Knob Creek uh, single barrel really does the trick. Then the next thing to think about is an actual gift, right? You're going to show up either like a house gift or uh, someone you know likes bourbon. And I think one of the best gifts you could do would be a taster pack. So I've got this uh, taster pack from Old Forester. It's in my neighborhood uh, and it's priced right and it's uh, it's a little better than the 50 ml bottles. Those taster packs are fun too. I still like them. But this tasting pack, you know, three 375 ml bottles, um, you know, someone gives you this set and you can open it with them and enjoy it. You don't have to worry about only having one dram of each. And I particularly like Old Forester. Uh, the 1920s been out for a while in my area and I just, I really, really enjoy the extra spice and little bit of candy apple in there but it's woody too it's not it's not I said fruit but it's actually not that fruity it's a bit more oaky and savory and spicy the 1910 for me hits a sweet spot a little more is that sweet toasted oak in there I, I don't mind the 1897 uh, honestly if they gave me another bottle of 1910 or 1920 I'd like to pack a little more but that's a good gift or uh, come on in and join the party gift I think that's great so you got your regular bourbons I know these are the one-ups and then you got a taster pack now I'm thinking, okay, it's Christmas time and, and you want to be able to uh, try something a little new if you're a bourbon drinker. Well, you know, if you've been watching my channel for not, this may not be new for you, but I would suggest trying something from Colorado. They've got some really interesting bourbons coming out of there. This is an example of Bowler. It's one I've talked to you guys about. This is a cast strength one. Um, but what I find interesting about Bowler, it's good quality spirits. I like their single malts too. Uh, is they also do, this is just straight and cast strength, just how bourbon should be. But it's got a high barley amount. Shoot, 42% maybe? Something like that. It's got some barley kicking around in there. And that gives it a really different kind of nutty quality that, that's worth chasing. Plus, they do a lot of finishing too. So, you know, it's kind of fun. 
a little bit different than uh, than the regular bourbons. You know, it's out of another place, Colorado, uh, and and it's got a little different you know mash bill than you typically get. And then they have a lot of different finish. They got lots of different cast finishing. So I'd say give yourself a treat and try a little uh, Boulder. Oh, and speaking of treating yourself. Uh, the fourth one is, you know, push yourself to another area, actually. Uh, they're both the same thing. I thought I had a theme for each one. Anyways, I wanted to talk again about anything out of Texas. If you got some Balcones or Balconis, it's probably how you say it, uh, Iron iron Root, and then I've got this uh, Still Lost. And, you know, this is a bit young. Uh, it's a bit hot. It's It's oaky. Uh, but I think, you know, uh, the way they distill it is pretty unique and, and the flavor profile I think is distinctive. And I would say uh, owe it to yourself to try a little bit of Texas bourbon. I guess that's really the same thought. So, you know, if you're going to give it to a friend, I think gift packs are great. Specifically, the old Forester is just bang on. Uh, you want to push yourself a little bit. This is, uh, you know, a little more uh, like that nutty. The barley in here is really worth trying. Uh, and then this is just that I think Texas bourbon's just got a nice spicy heat to it that I'm really liking. And specifically still Austin's kind of grabbed my heart. These were to one up your regulars. And I guess, wow, I'm, I'm just flying through this. So, well, I guess the last bourbon is I was thinking of, um, you know, maybe you're going over to your in-laws place and, and, and maybe your in-laws are wonderful people. Of course they are, they're wonderful people, but uh, just in typical fashion of in-laws or wherever you're going, Maybe it's going to be a bit of a longer night and you want to bring something that's going to give it a bit of a kick. Well, this still awesome cast strength would do it too. But for me, you probably know where I'm going and that's with Booker's. Booker's for me uh, is just a great bourbon. Uh, this particular one is Charlie's Batch. I put it back in the box just for effect with you guys. But you know, oh, I guess I could have put that up there for a, a shot. But I like, uh, I just like these... Uh, boxes that Charlie designed. I think that's really, really cool. Um, I think I've, I shared you, if you're a long time viewer of the channel, you'll uh, you'll you'll see that I, I, I had them for a craft somewhere, like uh, like my wife uses them. There's a few of them around because I, I generally like bookers. But having said all that, um, this particular one is a, is a good one, I think. It's a 2000, I hope I pulled the right one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Charlie's batch. This is uh, 202301 and uh, and this is the kind of uh, bourbon that if uh, you've got a long night ahead of you and you know you're staying over the no one's driving after your pouring bookers that's for sure uh, I think this will do the trick and you might have picked up by the way I'm talking I have been sick wildly sick for days and it's still kicking around I don't know what's going on so I knew I couldn't shoot a tasting with you guys but I've had all of these bourbons. I enjoy all of them for different reasons. Uh, and this one I thought might just have enough kick to push through. So, you know, if you're going to somewhere that might be a bit of a longer night, but you're staying there, I think bringing uh, a little Booker's to share uh, might create some good stories and, uh, and some good times that you can be reminded about later. Anyways, I hope you guys are well. I hope you don't have the uh, holiday flu that so many of us have right now. Uh, I would like to reach through the camera to each of you. Wish you and your homes a fantastic Merry Christmas. Uh, great holidays, a little bit of time off, I hope. And uh, some memories, not too many family arguments. And in keeping with this video, from regular or special to unusual to gifts, to something to just really give you a bit of a kick. I hope you have some good bourbon in your glass this Christmas. Merry Christmas, you guys. Thanks for staying with me. Cheers.